And then, with help of these blocks here, I can temporarily screw the side. Yeah, let's scratch that last part. So here's the wonderful thing about YouTube and the interaction I can have with all of you gorgeous people. Oh, and... Hello! When I uploaded the last video, I pretty soon got a comment saying Why not use some rubber rope to clamp the sides to your rig? That way you can avoid a screw hole. In which I replied that it was a really smart idea that I haven't thought about. But the problem for me is to get a hold of some rubber ropes. And soon after I've sent the answer, I got a reply to my comment saying I use bicycle inner tubes cutting the strips. I love you guys for making me feel so stupid. So taking these two great advices and ideas, I decided to rewrite my plans for bending the sides a little bit. I will still screw the sides into the rig, but without getting any permanent holes. This because I'm bending both the box and lid's sides at the same time. Just to get them exactly the same. Which is why I... Hold on. Which is why I have them both in the same piece of wood. But I left a few centimeters in between for safety measures. So by marking that safety area I can screw the screws into that and therefore get no permanent screw holes in the pieces I'm going to use. Now taking tips from you guys, I'm going to secure that the whole area of the sides is pressed down into the rig by taking bicycle inner tubes, cut them into strips and unwind them around the rig with the sides in between. And then of course wait for the whole thing to dry. Now that is the first thing on the list and the other is just to simply cut out the butt and top of the case. Which is really only to cut out one of them, because I can I already cut out the first one in the previous video. But let's start with bending the sides. Oh, um, I have to macerate the wood first.
So what have I really done now? I've cut out the bot and top pieces for the box and lid roughly because I want to have some safety measures when I fuse them together with the sides. I have sewn some smaller pieces that would work as reinforcement for the sides. One at the headstock and one at the butt. Also I have sewn two blocks that will make the little box underneath the neck inside the case. And these along with the smaller reinforcements would work as anchor points when I put these sides on the bottom top. Finally I have surprisingly successfully bend the sides of the case. I love you guys for this. Basically what I've done in short is to make all the wooden pieces that will be assembled into the foundation of the case, which I will do in the next video. I'm Tom Victor Shiren and thanks for watching. Det är en klant av